There are some arguments of so-called born-again Christians about the story of Lazarus and a rich man. The first, some say that poor people will not be saved and the second, some say that God will never forsake the righteous nor his seed begging for bread. My response to the first saying of some that poor people will not be saved as that is not biblical. Because in James 2 5 says, 5 Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? Are they out of their mind? Their saying is contradict to those who have been chosen by God, or they are desiring only to have not be saved those who are poor because they have been sinning respecter of person of those who are rich in this world. Maybe that is one of some reasons. In the second argument that God will never forsake the righteous nor his seed is begging for bread, my response for that it is truly written in the Bible Psalms 37:25. I have been young, and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. But when you analyze it, it is only observance of the author of that Psalms and not the eternal truth which is the word of God according to John 17:17. 17, 17. Yet when we follow that argument it will show only that Lazarus in Luke chapter 16 verse 19 to 31 being a beggar with full of sores maybe is begging also not only of money but also of breadcrumbs which fell from the rich man's table. My question entered in my mind is if that argument is true then Lazarus was a wicked person but was saved from hell fire for he repented from all his transgressions and the rich man because he did not begging for money or bread but unrepented that is why he is perished. Let us read that passages for clarity, Luke 16 19 to 31. 19 There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sumptuously every day. 20 And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of sores. 21 And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. 22 And it came to pass, that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, the rich man also died, and was buried. 23 And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. 24 And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. 25 But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivedst thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. 26 And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us, that would come from thence. 27 Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. 28 For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. 29 Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. 30 And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. 31 And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. My opinion in this rich man who called Abraham his father was in the lineage of Abraham or maybe because of faith but that is not the focus of conversations. In Colossians 1.26 it says the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, 
It is the Lord who revealed those to us the things that not visible to our naked limited eyes like what the author of Psalms had. But the Lord Jesus can see clearly all things that are happening whether it be literal or spiritual that is why we should totally depend on the Lord's points of view and not to all creatures like us. You can text messages of what you are thinking of or you can oppose to my opinions and if God willing I will answer to your questions or reply to your text messages. May the Lord bless you all, if the Lord's will to those who watched or joined the discussions. You can also give an advice or suggestions. That is only for now.